Welcome back, Keepers of the Flame. Okay, let's start off with Leo. What's happening? Oh, I got a new deck. Midnight Magic. Um, it's pretty, I did a, I didn't really do a review. It's in my detox video. <laughs> um, it's pretty good. It's okay. They tell you which ones are dangerous, like psychedelic and could OD on it or, um, you know. And then which ones are more for medicinal purpose. They don't list the medicinal purposes. So, but other than that, it's okay. It's a little stiff. Like, I can't. Like, there's just, yeah. And it, the first, like, couple days, like, it, it would cut, like, mine. I don't know. I'm going to do one round with it so everybody feels <laughs> taken care of with one deck. And then I'm probably never going to use it again. <laughs> it's beautiful artwork, though. It's, and, you know, really nice pictures in it. Very, very pretty. Very whimsical and lovely and whatnot. Um, if, you know, my teeny tiny tarot hands, probably, um, are not making this easy. I'm, I'm willing to bet that someone with larger hands could probably definitely handle this deck without any problem. Me, on the other hand, not so much. So, yeah. And you, I don't even know how you would begin to do a bridge with this. So, um, yeah, if you make a tarot deck, <laughs> don't fuck it up. Okay? <laughs> Remember, all of us, <laughs> don't leave out the teeny tiny toe hands. There's big, there's giant decks. That one by HP Lovecraft, it's huge, but I can bend the cards to, to shuffle them. So, just keep that in mind when you're doing that. Okay. Ready, set, grow, Leo. Seven of Pentacles, at least yours is in the upright. Hermit and the fourth one. You've been stashed away for a little too long here, Leo. What is going on? I'm trying to grow something behind the scenes. Leo. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. The devil in reverse. Ooh. Okay. So you're trying to grow something kind of in the light. Or maybe you're trying to bring it out into the light and it wasn't successful. Okay. So you are growing something behind the scenes here. This feels like a wall. Like this is your like behind the scenes. And then this is. I feel like you've been in hermit mode for too long though. And it's, it's now beginning to compromise things. You're losing opportunities and gateways to progression, possibly spiritually here. This tells me that um, you need to get out of hermit mode before these things go away. These things um, are imperative to your success in getting this out into the public, which is a very Leo thing. In your roots, you have the Five of Wands, the Strength card, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, you're here, Leo. There, Chaga, Chaga, Chaga. That is a black jaguar. Freaking really cool card. What is that? Focus on what's putting up between those two Pentacles up there. The Infinity symbol. Very cool. So, you're struggling with this. I feel like you know what's going on, and you just, you can't get a grasp on it. And so you're internally arguing with yourself about how equal give and take is supposed to be. So you have this, whatever it is, going on behind the scenes here, and you have little to no clue on how to bring it forward in a way that's going to be, you know, your value equals what you get back for it and you know <clears throat> we are going through a period of time right where no one no one is valuing anyone's time or energy they're just not they can't afford to well the majority of people 
I guess, claim to not to be, I don't know. But if you're going to live with that mentality that, you know, there's going to be no equal give and take, then that's kind of what you're going to get, right? So, like, there's, there's two ways this could go, right, in your mind. Now, there's multiple ways this could go. But right now, it feels like what you're doing on the inside is battling yourself over, well, gosh, I put so much time and energy and resources and possibly research and, um, you know, like maybe you invested a lot of money into doing this. You have um, taken classes, you've taken courses, maybe you've got a degree in something or a certification or whatever the heck it is that's really, really, um, this is quite lovely. This is called the Dune Cup. Okay, so you've worked really, really hard on this and you're investing it and now it's slowing way down and you're like, how do I do this? And I think that you need to remember the most important part of this whole entire thing is A, that it's, that it's authentically valued. Like it's going to bring worth and value to other people. That's the most important part right here. Like, um, I think if it's more of a practical thing it's going to be worth your while to really say you know what this is worth this this is worth this I did put in a lot of time and energy into helping this succeed um, and I think you do um, need to protect this a little bit I'm gonna get some clarifiers on this but I think that this is something that since you're really internally battling with that you put a lot of time and energy into it and that you need to kind of protect it because there's a lot of like weird things getting exposed right now about like um how do i put this where people are basically thieving other people's ideas, saying, hey, I want to work with you on this. Hey, let's do this together. And then usually the person who has, you know, the big L word behind them um, usually ends up defrauding the party who actually came up with the idea. And I think we're about to be exposed that that's pretty much how the entire system has worked this entire time. Hence why we do not have... A lot of evolutionary things happening right now. It's a system based on taking things rather than, well, the Tesla, the actual Tesla. <laughs> Look at that. Kind of the same thing, but it's, it's going to be more on a massive scale now. I think we're going to start to see that. So you're not wrong for this. It's just, it's time. So you need to come to a conclusion here so let's get the i'm not going to touch your seven of pentacles I'm not going to do it let's get the hermit in reverse the three of pentacles in reverse and the devil in reverse please for real yeah yeah Ooh, nice okay Ooh. <laughs> nice leo okay so you did maybe you did get an offer you got it you got a cuppy you got an offer and it, it played on your emotions is what I'm getting here is in and look at the creature that's in the card as someone like that offered you a, a, a fourth cup and you're like why would I take your measly crappy cup I got nine of them right here I don't need yours <laughs> you ready there it is right there and the sun so give it give it a little bit let that whatever the hell it is die down and then Eventually, this will come to light. Whatever, whatever rat person, right, came and, um, you know, maybe deceived you, maybe like got in through a loophole or something. Because that's what I mean. Like you think about like rats and mice; they're little, they're sweet little noses. Um, you know, they can get in through a little a little teeny tiny loophole so maybe that's what you need to look for just a little teeny tiny loophole teeny tiny little eight of right because if everybody else can do it why can't you right 
I'm not saying go dirty on this. I'm not saying that at all. I don't think I don't see you doing that. I see you looking for equal give and take, and you're like, where the f is it? And you're you're internally battling for it because whatever whatever you're trying to get into right now um, might be highly corrupt. Might be highly corrupt. So, and you're like. Ugh! So that would explain why you're like, I don't want to get out of romance. <laughs> I don't want to stay here. Where? Hi. There's a little birdie. So just make sure that, yep, you stick to your core values here and everything's going to come to light and keep sovereign to your emotional side too, which I see you doing. This is what you do. This is. <laughs> This is a clarification on this. You're like, no, I'm not taking the deal, and I'm not ready to go through that portal yet. I'm not doing it. So, let's get the roots of the read. I'm just waiting for the deck to feel good. Let's get the book to the read for real. God of Swords, Mental Clarity. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. In there. You're going to leave someone else out because you come to that mental conclusion, or somebody else is going to leave out you out because you're like, this is against my... This is against my foundational core values. Please don't. And then Justice. Four of Wands in Reverse. And then the five of wands in reverse, or the five of swords in reverse. Interesting. Interesting. So whatever is causing you disruption right now is is gonna get it. So This is going to be, this is, you're going to eventually get to this equal give and take concept and it's going to be awesome. And these cats are looking, right? They're looking. The eye. <laughs> so for some, some reason here, the person who is the entity, the situation that is like not letting you move forward with your seven of pentacles here. It's not going to see a very happy day. So, I would just say it keeps your core values. Keep your legacy going. Keep emotionally sovereign. Be who you are. You're showing up at, in the in the, um, the top of the tree and the bottom of the tree here. Okay? You got the sun and the strength card. So, this is all, like, in your capability, in your power, how this proceeds forward. How you're keeping emotionally sovereign and standing in your own light and honoring your legacy. So try not to fall into any traps here. Because um, you might be tempted. But I don't see you doing that. I think you're turning it all down and you're like, mm, no. So what's going to happen in the root system? It's like you're just going to have to watch and see and be left out for now. But that will bring you mental clarity. Let's see... We're going to get this. Some kind of advice does Leo need? That's not really telling me, like, do you... I feel like you need to get out of your hermit mode, maybe independently. And start your own thing, rather than trying to find this own. I got all the windows open. I'm like, since when did the animals learn how to... <laughs> I didn't kiss the doll with the wind. So, it's a thing. Oof. It's a thing. Leo, what's going on? What kind of advice does uh, Leo need right now? What is going to be the best course of action for Leo? Oof. They're sticky. Leo, what is going on? Emotional distress. Okay. The child and ooh. Four of swords in reverse. So
So let's read the child. What do we have? 15. Heck yeah. So I'll read the four swords in reverse too because look at this card. It's a very cool deck. I love this deck. Dreams of Gaia is the deck too. It's very holistic y. Okay. Ready, Leo? Set, grow. Keywords, new beginnings, innocence, magic, divine love, trust, hope, forgiveness, awareness, potential, anticipation, dependency. A new beginning. See your potential. Heal your emotional and psychological wounds. Time to play and laugh. Acknowledge your successes. Delight in the moment. Believe in magic. Laughter heals. Turn dreams into reality. Forgive the past and reconnect with innocent pleasures. Put doubt aside. The meaning. The child stands for confidence. The child stands confident, taking innocent joy and delight in her connection with the world in which she dwells. She is untouched by fear and full of hope and trust. Despite any hardship, tr struggle, or and harm she has faced, she continues to see only beauty through the eyes bright with wonder. She sees the good in all. She is both magic and magical, an innocent soul who believes in a happily ever after. All right, that's that was short and sweet. Usually, like <laughs> usually, these, these cards come with a novel, and there's nothing wrong with that because it's it's very um, it's very um, helpful, intellectual and spiritual, emotional, mental, well-rounded deck. Okay. So the key words for this card, which is upside down right now, so I'm going to make you look at it that way. Structure, routine, order, patterns, discipline, organization, understanding, productivity. All right, I'm going to go straight to the blockage here. So the four of air reverse symbolizes the importance of addressing distractions and negative influences, and sometimes that indicates people as well as habits. When this card appears reversed in your reading, ask yourself if you have come, if someone in your life is always questioning your goals and creative ventures. If so, do they often suggest or imply that you're wasting your time, or do they always suggest reasons you should not do something that you know would make you happy? Do they interrupt your routine and ex with an expectation that you entertain them? It might be necessary to take them aside and ask that they be supportive or silent and that they respect your desire to work a routine. If they refuse, then it might also be necessary to step back and decide if the friendship is a healthy one. To raise legitimate concerns is a sign of caring, but to ridicule or dismiss your goals as being unimportant is not. If a friend refuses to respect your boundaries and work ethic, are they truly your friend? I don't think I need to say any more than that. I think that pretty much encapsulates everything, even if it's not just a friend, if it's a business, if it's a partnership or a, a, a romantic relationship, whatever it is. Um, you know, we are here to fulfill a purpose and have a place in the world. And we need to be able to do that. Alright, well, until next time, keep your play.